to you. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. This is a quick tutorial about how to set up dynamic EQ using FabFilter Pro Q3 in FL Studio. And as you know, there is a lot of different ways how to sidechain and I would say that probably the most common way is the way where you use compressor. There is also a few sidechain plugins like the one from Nicky Romero, which is very popular and costs like 10 bucks, but I have never used it myself. You can also use volume automation or one of my fellow producers take it low sidechain with fruity balance plugin and I have to say he achieves very good results but if you want to check it I will leave the link to his video in the strip in description below the way I do it anyway is through dynamic EQ because the advantage I see doing it this way is definitely the fact that you can be very precise with dynamic EQ and impact only the frequency spectrum which is problematic so without further ado let's jump right to it Okay, so first thing you gotta make sure you have opened the Fab Filter Pro Q3 session on both mixer channels, Kick and 808. So we have it ready. Then go back to Kick, highlight the Kick, go down here to 808 channel and to that little arrow and right click. Then sidechain to this track. Okay, then highlight 808 channel and open Fab Filter Pro Q3. Go to VST wrapper settings, go to processing and stereo sidechain right click and hit kick now it looks like it's all done but it's actually not so go back to plugin window and let's play what i have here okay i have kick and bass very simple I would like to stop it for a second basically here because what's really great about the Fab Filter Pro Q3 is that it allows you if you go here and click sidechain Fab Filter is basically showing you both instruments kick and bass in one window and not just that it will also tell you where the frequency clash appears by turning red in that specific area so have a look again Okay, so we saw that the problem is somewhere around here. So let's double click here, create a band. Then right click on that green little circle and click make dynamic and boom. Okay, when we have it activated, you can see the dynamic range which you are affecting by your dynamic EQ, which is the one which is highlighted in green. And you can simply push it up as much as you want or pull it down you can also scroll up or scroll down to change the shape of the filter okay so just for the demonstration let's try it like this Okay, when you're happy with the shape, we still have to do the last adjustments to make sure your dynamic EQ is triggered by a kick and not by 808 itself, which is the case right now. Let's have a look. Okay, how to make sure that it is triggered by a kick is you gotta go here, click, and then go to that little arrow and make it blue. Now it's going to be triggered by a kick. Let's have a look. Cool, and that's about it. So thank you all for tuning in. I hope I was able to explain it and hopefully help at least few people to avoid the same struggle I faced when I bought Fab Filter and tried to figure out how the dynamic EQ can be set up in FL Studio. If you find it helpful and would love to see more quick tips and tutorials, I would appreciate every, every like, comment or feedback you might share here. And if you feel like staying in touch, please subscribe, I would be grateful. That's all from me for today, keep creating, take care and see you soon.